going on guys grass gas here today we're back to world war commander let's go ahead and start a scrimmage all right so we're going against another similar american side he's going to have relatively close lineup compared to what we have we do have the half track though so the engineers are going to be our weakest troop that we have to capture however they are going to be the most useful at other things which is why we're using them instead of some of the other guys we start with them since we got rid of the rifle squad in case anyone is curious so technically we could get rid of the engineers but since they're so useful at repairing tanks and the turrets around that's why we keep them around that it just doesn't seem very beneficiary to get rid of them so move these guys forward we're going to go ahead and have the engineers go in the front since they're probably going to be cannon fire and then we'll have our machine gun guys give them a little bit of protection engineers you go that way machine gunners you guys go over on the left side which is relatively close together we'll be able to slap down our tower once we get 150 points and then we'll move our other guys here in a second so that'll start building mortar team. You guys move out over here to the right side. These guys are going to be far enough away to where they should be able to still attack people and be protected, which is going to be super useful for us. Machine gunners are going to be capturing that post there. Engineers looks like he does have a rifle squad wanting to push up on the right side with him. So let's get the mortar team staying on top of the objective. We're going to activate the strength boost. And let's see machine gunners. If we can get you guys over inside of the zone, take out all of his rifle squad will be a little bit better. Engineers, you guys go over here and stand on that supply crate. Let's get 150 points, slap that down, that way we can get another tower. The mortar team is going to be under heavy fire, so if we activate our strength boost, see if we can get a little bit extra enemies here, so let's back you away. Machine gunners, you guys have to stand on that post. We're going to lose it since they didn't stand on it. Oh well. We got one crate down. Yeah. So they got that post from us, it'd be fine. So we do have one more tower that we need to build. So let's go and slap you down. That way we can get the maximum amount of points. Machine gunners should be harassing them. I don't think they're going to be able to do too much since we got everything on the sides here. Engineers, now one thing I did notice whenever we build like a pillbox, for example, whenever we get 300 points, I'll be able to show it off better. But it seems like if you have them repairing an item while you're sitting there crafting it, it actually builds a little bit quicker. So let's go and get another machine gun unit in here and put them over here in the middle. He's got a whole bunch of rifle squads and everybody injured we do have one person inside of the building there which is why we're able to sort of peek inside and see what they're doing so he's got a machine gun and engineering squad pushing the front here we do have enough points to go and slap down a pillbox so we're going to do that machine gunner there yes, and machine gun one you guys are fully healed so let's move you guys forward our engineering squad is just going to sort of hang out inside the building now if we exit them and they come over here and start working on this pillbox it should build a little bit quicker Get it done. Looks like he's waiting for a couple troops to get built, so we are going to just slowly move our stuff up. We're going to get another mortar team in here because we should be able to target some of their further away troops with them relatively easily. So our machine gunners are going to rain fire down. Our engineers are going to be here for backup. Machine gunner is moving in, so his rifle squad moved over there to the left side. He does have a Wolverine tank, so we are going to have to worry about that. Our machine gun unit is looking a little hurt, though, so we're going to have to pull him away here in a second. Give it a little bit longer. Go ahead and retreat him away. Engineers are still holding strong, so we don't have any abilities that we can do yet. His machine gunners are running away from us at the moment. Our engineers should be able to keep up this pillbox the entire time. I'm not worried about the Wolverine tank, mainly because they can't actually do too much damage to ground troops. So we're just going to focus on his ground troops and completely ignore them. We are going to need to focus on the Ranger squad, though. So if we get everyone focus on that, give it a second. Machine gunner should be fully healed and bring you guys forward. Now, if we upgrade the pillbox, we don't have 600 points yet, so we can't do it just quite yet. But as soon as we're able to upgrade the pillbox, we'll be able to get that. Mortar team is focusing on his Wolverine tank. Same with our machine gunners. We're basically stopping him from having a forward advance. He is going to be sending in his machine gunner squad running in here. It looks like they're hanging out in the background seeing what's happening. Engineering squad, let's go ahead and bring you guys away just a little bit. See what his Wolverine's doing. It looks like it's just going to be hanging out the entire time. Machine gunners, you guys focus on his machine gunners. Now we do have tier two, so we should be able to slap that on down. Once we get enough points, we'll be able to get a tank. Wait for his squad to move in. Activate the strength boost. So we need everybody focused on his machine gunners. Now we have half track. We'll be able to ride you on in here too. Machine gunners don't run too far forward. Engineers, same with you guys. You guys need your shoot away. Machine gunners, stand on that objective post. Do not give it up. Half track, run in here and kill them all. So we need everybody focusing on the flamethrower units and we'll be good to go. Machine gunners are looking a little hurt. Engineers, get to repairing that pillbox. We keep that pillbox, we keep this post. Mortar team, 
Bring fire down on the middle. We need to control the area. Our pillbox is barely hanging on here. It finally got destroyed. Looks like majority of his troops got wiped out with it. We do have a strength boost, but now we have a tank. Let's go and get the tank rolling in here and take on his Wolverine. Our engineering squad has done a good job, so let's go and retreat them away. Half track, you don't necessarily need to push them, so let's just sort of make them drive away some machine gunners. You guys retreat back to base. Wolverine, you make sure they run in fear. Half track, let's move on forward with the tank and see what we can do. He did do a little bit of explosive things, so let's see. So we got 300 points. We're going to start pushing them. He's got two different pillboxes building. So our half track, if we focus on the objective post, Wolverine, we focus on the pillboxes, we should be good to go. Basically, we're going to stop them from being able to build everything. Let's go ahead and get this pillbox targeted, that way we can finish that. Half track, you guys focus on the machine gunners, Wolverine, focus on the hound. We got another heavy machine gunner unit, so let's go ahead and move these guys forward. In engineering squad, let's bring you up as well. Half track needs to retreat away. Half track got destroyed, but he lost a couple buildings anyways. We are in a really good spot. Since he doesn't have the post anywhere near us, our tank's not actually going to be targeted where it's sitting at, so we don't even need to move it. Mortar team, let's move you forward. He is going to be able to capture a couple race horse crates and all that stuff, but you know what? We're just going to hold out for it. All right, so now we're going to retreat away some of these. So let's bring you back. Engineering squad, we don't need to go too far. We just want to get the tank slowly start working towards us. So engineers, if you turn around and start working on that tank. We have the mortar team focusing on the machine gunners. Now, our Wolverine should have plenty of stuff to take on his Wolverine, so let's go and activate our Strength Boost. That way we can wipe all of his units out relatively quickly. Our tank is going to completely obliterate his. Our Wolverine's still looking good. We're taking on his Mortar, or Engineering Squad now. So now the Mortar team can move up forward. Machine Gunners are ready. So our Wolverine technically has, like, the healing in, in the Shelter icon since the Engineers are working on it, but it's still able to fight, which is why we wanted to make sure we had the Engineers ready. So let's send the uh, machine gun unit, sorry, forward, capturing this post away from him, and then he's not going to be able to do stuff. So we need someone to stand on top of that objective. As long as we stand on top of it, he's not going to be able to place a pillbox there anymore. I'm not sure how many points he has left since he did rush us with the tanks immediately. So let's just move on forward here, see what we got. So we could do one of two things. We could destroy his pillboxes, or we could destroy his point makers. Both of which would completely stop him from being able to grow too much. So he has an engineering squad. Let's go and upgrade to tier three just in case we need it. And let's get everybody focusing on this engineering squad. Mortar teams focusing on the pillbox and see how far away they are. That's why the mortar teams are good. Even if the American mortars are a little bit weaker compared to the German counterparts, they just have such a decent range that it's almost not worth it good to, go. to not bring them in. I don't know. I think they're super useful. They are a little bit weaker, but the advantage is over there. So let's slap you down. We don't have 300 points yet. Machine gunners are basically going to be capturing his post here. This is going to be a risky maneuver. If we don't survive, then it is what it is. But basically, we're taking away all of his point makers. We'll get that machine gun unit forward. Once our guys fully destroy this tower, we'll be able to capture that one, too, and take away all of his point makers. Wolverine, you focus on that pillbox. Move forward. Machine gunners, you guys swapped different posts. So machine gun three, you go forward. Machine gun two, you back out. Activate the strength boost, and let's start wiping people out. All right, so tank, you focus on the HQ. Everybody else should be good to go. Basically, we prevented him from being able to spawn in any extra reinforcements since he doesn't have any more objective posts. He might get like one or two extra crates or something from a unit that we're not actually focusing on, but we don't have to worry about that. 50 points remaining. If you do have enough at the end of your match, I do recommend making sure you get to tier three since it normally is a daily task to spawn in a certain amount of tier three units or something like that. So we'll get the heavy tank in here. We don't have enough for that tower yet. Let's move forward. Wolverine is also on the HQ. And we're looking good to go. It's very weird. For some reason, this general seems to have a lot slower scale whenever we actually unlock stuff. Because we usually have reinforcements by now, especially in this sort of style game. Let's slap that tower down and basically just spawn kill him. We're going to activate our speed boost. That way our heavy tank can actually get here in time to shoot something. He should be rolling out at a very slow pace, but he is rolling. All right, so the HQ, one or two more hits and we're good to go. We take home the victory. If you guys enjoyed this daily World War Commander, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.